Gather round my cauldron, everybody. This is my crafty cauldron. And what could be lurking in there today? I just wonder. Let's see. Oh, we've got a six by six card. Length of sparkly ribbon. Ha, my pin flare glue. A lovely blue frame. Oh, an iris folding template another frame oh, and some cute cute images these images are from the winter wonder collection um, it's available from crafty the crafty witches um, if you want to go to the website so that you can get yours along with other things it's the www thecraftywitches.co.uk and a scrap of cardboard in here that's really really useful I know what let's go forward and we will create some magic these these are absolutely fantastic this is I've just printed this sheet off five times to do this card and what I'm about to show you is something that they used to call well, they still call it, as far as I know, photo folding. It might be something different for everybody to try. Now, I've got a piece of cardboard so that I've got something to prick into. I've got five images all the same. These gorgeous little family of foxes. Look at him sniffing the air. They're just, they're just beautiful images. But you get lots of images on the sheet. There's a squirrel. There's a candle with some pine cones. There's deer in a wood. There's a beautiful white poncetta. But moving forward, let's let's show you what we're about to do today. So I've drawn off a trace stuff onto a piece of tracing paper, an iris folding template. Some of you might be, you know, quite familiar with. We want to take one of our images and pop it out of the way because we need that one to be complete. Now, taking your iris folding template, pop your image into place. I'm just going to pop a little bit of tape on that. So, oops, wobbly, wobbly. That's a magic of crafting on a wobbly chair. Well, we said we want these to be fun, so there we go. A little bit of excitement there for you. The witchcraft wobble. There we go. Just pop that there. So counting in, because I've got five layers of this, you could do it with more layers entirely up to you. All I'm going to do is prick each layer like that. We take our layer out now. Next time we do it, we remember we've got to line it up again. As unlike with um, normal iris folding, this doesn't just create a, a pattern. So you're going to create the picture that you've got below all layered up. So coming out to the next square, we do the pricking again. Take him out. This is why I've only done five layers here, otherwise, you'll be quite some time. It is time consuming, but it is very, very worth it. So, we're on our third layer. Count in one, two, three. This is our third layer. And pop him out. Now, this is our last one, but 
depending on your iris folding template you can take this out as far as you want to one two three this is our layer four I'm just gonna pop oops didn't really want that to move but there we go we're aligned up again so that's that part of it done so we've got our four layers with our prick marks in there now we are finished with our cardboard so we take each layer now and with a ruler that I haven't put aside because I'm just playing around doing this aren't I I should have planned that a bit better hey ho this is our new magic ruler here we go this is our new magic ruler because we're not measuring what we're going to do is if you can see those dots that I've put into the card here we're just going to go across and carefully with a sharp knife just do a crisscross on each layer so we've again we've got to do our crisscross there we go it's been a little while since I've done this so it might go horribly wrong there we go I love this digital crafting it means that I haven't got boxes and boxes of stuff everywhere I just print what I'm going to need really and it really does put you into control of what you're doing I've never tried demoing this before because um, it is something you've got to think about so if I go a bit quiet you know I'm, I'm getting proper mindful crafting at this point I'm just looking for the hole. There it is. So we've done our crisscross again. And this is the last one to do now. It doesn't have to be actually dead on. If you get it a little bit wrong, it is quite forgiving. so there we go now what we do we turn each piece over and we turn back and give it a good score down because you don't want to take the bulk to you want to take the bulk away from this you can cut these pieces off but leave a fold there so if you were to cut this one off i would just cut down maybe to there just to take the bulk off from behind the card because it is similar to iris folding you will develop some bulk there there we go we're just popping round to there we go so that's one get another one and we do this with all of the layers I learned this method years ago when I wanted to do a photograph of my grandson and I thought how wonderful it looked because you do end up with the fin finished image of where you started and it's, well, it's it's just something different people will puzzle at the magic of how you've done it these digital kits leave so much scope in there for you to decide what you want to do here we go. Oh, I can't pick it up. I've got butterfingers this morning. There we go. There you go. So what we've got there now there's quite a few layers that look like we've ruined them 
but it will come together on there this one will definitely have to be trimmed off because the sides will overhang the card there we go and one more you could add your glitters to these well you can do whatever you like you could print this onto vellums as well um, you could print onto fabric entirely up to you what you want to do with it but I've got a pair of scissors and with this one I'm going to make sure I trim enough off because I don't want this to hang over the edge when it, it goes together there we go just not too fussy just make sure that we're not overhanging anywhere Right, so we've got our five layers. Right, what we'll start to do then is I've got a six by six card for this one. Because I think it's a nice, nice sort of size to do this with. I've got some of the, the beautiful solids colours. You know, we use loads of this and having it like we've got it means, you know, come back, get another sheet. It, it's just a click print sort of situation and I absolutely love it. I used to be a crafter that had to have all the paper kits. And I'd say I did eventually fill a three bedroom house up and there was only one bedroom that I could get into. And... I think now I'm in, in a very tiny place that I need to think about these things. Look at this beautiful backing paper with the little foxes, the tiny little robins, even a squirrel there. We've got squirrels that come into the garden and, and they're so fun to watch. They run around as if they're madness. They're absolute madness burying their little things that they find all over the place. We've got a lovely vegetable patch here and during the summertime we had sunflowers were popping up everywhere in our vegetables and I think it were the squirrels that planted them there. So I've just topped that onto there. Right, now we take our one image, we're going to move the card aside and I'll show, this is the one image that I said take aside, don't do anything with this one. And then you need your other pieces that you've done, starting with the smaller hole first. And what we do, just make sure these go down a little bit because you don't want a great big build-up of card. I wouldn't print this onto card. I would go on to lighter weight, um, maybe 160-ish, a quality paper, but, you know, just... Just be mindful that you're building it up and you don't want to create a lot of bulk. So that's our first layer. Then we've got the next next size hole coming up. Keeping your image up the right way. Sometimes it can be a bit confusing trying to find out which way it goes on, especially if you've got lots and lots of layers. And then we pop that onto the top. So this isn't going to be one of those cards like your decoupage that will um, come through on the higher postage rate. It's not going to be as thick as that. But because you've got so many layers going together, it will thicken up a little bit. hope you can see the effect at the minute where we're getting this. I just want to trim this corner off. Like I say, it's just hanging over a little bit and we don't want that. This image has already been framed nicely with a like an icy blue. And if you've got it hanging over and you come to the end of it and you think, oh, you know, now I've got to trim it, you don't want I don't want to lose this lovely border that's that's already in there for you. Not at this point. Just pop that down. And then we've got our last layer. This is the one we really did cut back quite hard now i'm looking to find this one because we haven't got much image on it on it that this one is um obviously the match is just here 
So let's just pop some glue onto there like that. If you go onto the website, um, there's lots and lots, well, it's growing, growing all the time, I think, um, of mini collections, collections. Um, the virtual USB is absolutely fantastic with the Snowy Day Friends. You've got boxes in there, um, envelopes, alphabet tiles. There's lots and lots for you to play with in there. So I would take a pop and have a look. It's, it's crafting us in a virtual bundle. It's going to be absolutely brilliant just to be able to pop in and out. And they're not expensive, they're affordable. Now look, if I bring that up to the camera, you can see what I mean about the photo fold. We've got a proper image. We haven't changed the image, apart from the fact we've done this, this photo folding on it. I hope you could see what I was doing when I was building it up properly, because I can't see fully on the camera when I'm recording. But we're just going to pop this on there. Perfect. I'm not going to put it on foam pads or anything. We're just going to bob a little bit of glue right the way around. So look, it is, it is quite a flat card, although there's a little bit of bulk there. I'm just going to pop this down there. I think that's quite nice there. Hold it for a few seconds. And then I've also got a frame that I've cut to go over the top because I thought you do get sometimes a little bit of a gape there and, and it just ties it in and makes it look tidy but it's a lovely project and on that sheet I think there's a good four images on that one sheet that you could do this style card with oh, and hey ho you might think of something else that you want to do you might just want to use them as normal toppers but here we go. Just pop that onto there. Like that. And it, it just frames the whole image. Sorry, the car just moved. There you go. I've got a tiny little best wishes. You know, it doesn't have to be a Christmas card, does it? It's not just Christmas. It could be a winter birthday, a winter anniversary. Maybe someone's not feeling so good. You could just say best wishes we just pop that in the corner then a little bit of sparkly ribbon who doesn't like a little bit of ribbon i always used to say well if you're making and selling which you're allowed to do with this as long as you make a finished product um who doesn't like a little bit of ribbon we're just going to pop that like that tie a little knot which is enough When doing your bows, always pull it in the direction you, that you want it to sit. So there we go. We've got a finished card. And you've I've still got all of these wonderful images to use. We've got a little cup with some... Um, foliage in we've got these lovely deer imagine this with a little bit of glitter on their antlers almost look golden we've got this lovely white poinsettia add some clear iridescent glitter to that add some of your glossy accents to the berries it's going to be beautiful you've got all the sentiments have a great day with all our love just for you even happy birthday happy returns we've got candles um and look at this little chap, look at him, a little squirrel and he's got his hazelnuts down there. So this kit is all about fun, there's lots and lots of images in there. You've got your backing papers included. Um, I just printed off a little pile, look, oh sorry, we've gone to wonky cam again. But hey ho, that's life. We've got this, we got, we got an insert there, we could put an insert into this. You can change the sizes of all this, so you're in control. It makes your craftiness, you're the manager over it then. Look, we've got the poinsettia in red, we've got a lovely Christmas rose. Look at this fox sniffing the air. You can almost feel the chill in the air, can't you? And look, 
we all love a robin and these berries are crying out for glossy accents aren't they make them shine like the berries that you get on your trees and then again we've got the big topper with the deer on um you know happy birthday from both of us happy christmas from both of us and you've got your sentiments too loving wishes for you so and you've you've got other sentiment sheets in the collection to look at this beautiful paper with the holly you could cut these out and use as decorative elements of your card you could do your snapshot make them big so you could multi-layer it but you know it's all in there the crafty witches are absolutely fantastic who would have thought of such a magic concept well i'm going to leave you with this now i've hoped that you've enjoyed doing this along with me and i hope to see you put some of your cards on soon just take away have fun i'm off on my broomstick now i've got to go and do some shopping <laughs> Thank you.